Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to another tutorial, everyone. Today we're going to make mix buses with Ableton. What is a mix bus? Well, let's say you have different aspects of your mix. Let's say drums, basses, leads, vocals, blah, blah, blah. No matter what kind of material you're working with, mix buses help you keep your entire set organized in a way that allows you to do two very important things. One, it makes it really, really easy to stem out your music. And what do I mean by stem out? I mean, if you're in session view and you want to have all of your, your bass instruments and your drums and all that other stuff into different clips so you can perform the different parts live and mix and match and stuff, it makes that very easy. Number two, it also allows you to use um, bus effects such as uh, sidechain compression, EQ, um, whatever reason you might need to keep all of, let's say you have a bunch of guitars in a song uh, in one spot, whatever reason you might need to keep your instruments separated into different tracks, this method is going to help you do that. Okay? So what I have here, this is a just a song I've been working on, Don't Judge Me. It's only, uh, I'd say, about a third of the way through uh, in, in its creation. But uh, this is what it sounds like. So I just wanted to, to, to show you this part because it's a very dense part. There's a lot going on. And I, I took the liberty of going ahead and organizing this set a little bit more. And this is a very, very basic set for me. I usually have a lot more tracks. I just wanted to really, really make this a very simple uh, uh, show of how, of how to do this. So the immediate thing you might think, well, it's just it's easy, man. Why don't you just select all these tracks? Uh, so these are your drums, okay, Anthony? Why don't you just select all these tracks, right-click, and click on group. Well, you'll notice that group is not available. And why is that? Well, this track is is contains one one track inside of it. This track contains one track inside of it too. But this track has three different tracks that comprise of the group known as drum kit. Okay? Um, I should actually rename that to E drum kit. So unfortunately in Ableton Live you can't group groups. Once it's grouped, it's already grouped and you can't group it anymore. So this is the big thing. This is how you make buses. It's this simple. I right-click somewhere, insert audio track, or just Apple T, whatever you want to do. Um, and now, this track, I'm going to call this the drum bus. All right? So now, if I look at these three tracks, their destination, as you can see, is the master, the master bus, this bus down here. Um, instead, I want to send them all to this drum bus, and I'm going to make this red, too, just to keep everything uniform. I'm going to send this instead to the master. I'm going to click on this down arrow, drum bus. All right. Same thing with this master out, drum bus. And then finally, the E kit output is going to be the drum bus. So now when I close all these up, all right, and I make the drum bus input switch always on. And I'm going to turn off the, you're probably hearing that twice. I'm going to turn off the input there. Okay, so now this track is only going to receive these three instruments. So let's listen to this part again. Now watch this. So notice now I have all of my drums bust into one track. Okay, so now I can do all kinds of fun things to these drums if I want to. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other tracks. So the two basses. Let's insert another track. Okay, we're going to turn the inputs off so you don't have that experience again. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to re uh, rename this to Bass Bus. And then the next two outputs, I'm going to show you a little shortcut. If you select this track, hold Shift, click down, you've got both tracks selected. Click on Master, go to Bass Bus. Boom. Now they're both being sent to the Bass Bus. And remember, you have to turn on the track input, okay? So I'm just going to solo this out and make sure we've got this going. Now we can just hear our basses. So again, these are all my instruments. I have this, uh, this orchestra here, a bell set, some woodwinds. I'm just going to do this again. Insert audio track. Bring it up to the top here, and I'm going to change its color to green, just to keep everything uniform again. I'm going to call this the instrument bus. Okay? Just as simple as before. 
expanding. Actually, here's another shortcut you can do. Click on the first instrument, hold shift, click down, 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 and I can click to the right, and it expands all of these tracks. They're still selected. Uh, instrument bus is what I'm going for, so I click on the first one's output, and I find instrument bus. Boom. Turn the instrument bus's input to none and then turn the input switch to on, and now I've just got my instruments when I solo. All right, and then finally the synthesizers. So I can, once again, select them all. Actually, the first thing you want to do, make a new track. This will be the, I'm going to call it the synth bus. All right, change it to this color. This is all really important stuff, guys. This is this is keeping your set organized so that in the future you don't get burnt out trying to just find things. You know, this is a really simple set, very small, but in the in, you know it's very simple. It's very easy to let your 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 set get out of control. Too much stuff going on. I'm just making this really easy on myself. So I'm gonna send the output to synth bus. Boom. The input is turned on. Close that back up. Close all those back up, and now, all my synths. There's more synths in the other part of the song, but you get the idea. So now the whole song, the whole song is totally bust out. Okay? So let's, you know, that that's the first part. So now you've got these buses, okay? One thing you can do with your buses is you can take them all and put them next to each other. I kind of enjoy this process. So once you get to a certain point in mixing, unless there's an issue that, you, that that kind of surfaces and you need to you need to worry about that, your entire mix can start to focus down on these four tracks. Think about how easy that's going to make it. These four tracks right here contain all of the musical data from your entire set. Now, of course, you're going to go in here and you're going to do edits and stuff like that. But the main the main idea, the main brain of what's going on is happening in this area. So. So one thing we could do is we could think about uh, sidechain compression, you know. I could take uh, a compressor and put it in my bass bus. You know, and I should do maybe a, a entire lesson on sidechain compression so I don't do it this fast. But normally I would click sidechain here. I'm going to go to the drum bus. Um, I'm going to find kick. There we go. I'm going to find the kick track, and then I'm going to make that... In the base, in the base area. So now, whenever I have a kick drum fire, the bass can can duck down. Let's just go ahead and, fit, and make that happen real quick. Okay. So as you as you've noticed, now I have a you know, a, a sidechain compressor. I'm not going to go into this very deeply. This is not the process I would use. I'm just doing this very quickly. Uh, and I have this this whole thing figured out. So now during this part when the, when the kick drum usually gets buried, I could take the same compressor, once I get the settings pretty close, copy it into my instrument bus. Now you, you can start to see how this is saving you time. I'm saving, I'm putting this into all three of my other buses. So now... Got to turn them on. So now when I have all these compressors on, the kick drum is going to have that much more oomph because it's it's ducking all the other instruments. Now, I, I, I believe that's a very extreme and shoddy job <laughs> there of sidechain compression, but I, I'm just doing it really fast to show you what's possible by using these buses, okay? So that would be... What I would do for you know mix busing, and you can do so many things with that. You can use uh, mix bus compressors, parallel compression, sidechain compression, uh, just just overall EQ uh, effects. You know, muting things, unmuting things, all kinds of stuff you can use with these mix buses. Now, the other part of this that makes this incredibly powerful is just how easy it is to just simply stem out your music. Okay, so. Let's say I want to start creating stems from this song. It looks like this song's going to have one. I made these these scenes up so you can see them. The this is the intro scene. This is part A, part B, part A2, blah blah blah. You, you get the picture. So these are all these different parts, all right? So I'm going to focus in on one area. Let's just say we want to do the 
um, the stems for part A, okay? So what I would do is I would click right here at the beginning of part A, click here at the end and holding shift, and then just right click and loop selection. I'm just gonna do that just because it, it helps me kind of figure out what I'm doing um, and figure out where I am. Also, if you loop the section that you're that you're gonna export, um, it's just by clicking on the loop bar, let's say you're messing around somewhere else, if you click on the loop bar, it automatically selects that area and just makes sure that the part that you're selecting is gonna be exported. Okay, so drum bus. Uh, let's say I wanted to get the, the, the stem for the drum bus. It's just as simple as this. Instead of just going, hitting solo, which this is also saving you, I mean, this is saving you time. This is really easy. You could just hit solo and just, um, you know, export your buses like that. But you can make it even faster. So, file, export audio video. Now, what you can do with this exporter, a lot of people don't realize that there's so much more you can do with the exporter. I could do all individual tracks, and that would literally export everything. Now, some people would like to do that maybe for remix purposes, but what we want to do is selected tracks only. Okay? I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to just select by holding shift and clicking down. One, two, three, four. So now I have all four of my buses selected. Okay? Now, when I go to export right here, I can say selected tracks only. And I'll hit export. Now I'm just going to find a, a file uh, drive for this. So Earthcry, we're just going to call this 10 and 6 stems. Okay, so I'm going to create this. Now, it's, it's going through the export process. What's going to happen is, is all four of these tracks are going to be separate stems in one action. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so let's go ahead and find that file we just did. Let's see. 10, and here we go, stems. Now look at that. We've got 10 and 6 bass bus, 10 and 6 drum bus, 10 and 6 instrument bus, and 10 and 6 synth bus. And these are the, these are the clips for this part, okay? Um, you could, you know, there's different naming conventions. One thing you could do is make different folders for each part so that it's a little bit easier when you make your stems to know which part is which, like this is part A. But basically, this is this is the folder that part A is in. So, so uh, ad infinitum, you could just literally go through any one of your, as long as you have your buses set up, it's very, very fast and very simple to export your stems. Okay? So that's pretty much it. I, I you know, I think I might in the future show some uh, mixed bus effects and, and uh, a, a little bit more of a uh, in-depth look at, you know, sidechain compression, bus EQ, blah, 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 um, you know, saturation. There's, there's so many things you can do uh, in, in mix buses that will enhance your mix. Um, and, and a lot of the times they're more subtle effects and more broadband effects. But yeah, um, that's, that's it in a nutshell. I hope this is really useful to y'all. Um, if you got use out of this video, uh, consider subscribing. And if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link at the bottom. Thanks for watching and happy mixing, everybody.